Hello everybody and welcome back to FKJ Books. I am Frankie and today I'm doing my Waterstones Book of the Month, Children's Book of the Month discussion. So I'm going to be reviewing June's Book of the Month and kind of talking about July's. However, there's a little thing with July's but I will get to that. That's why this video is a little bit late because I was unsure how to go about July. You'll see when I get to July. But first of all, let's talk about June. So, June's Book of the Month was The Legend of Podkin One Ear and a little bit, well first I was a little bit hesitant for this one because it didn't really seem like something that I would typically pick up but it's something else that I really enjoy about this challenge of reading every of the children's book of the month for Waterstones that I've decided to do this year. I thought it'd be fun, I thought it'd be different, I thought it'd be reading things that I wouldn't typically pick up so Podkin One Ear was one of those. It's about rabbits and they're kind of rabbits are the only thing in the world i'm not sure what's happened to humans i think it says in the beginning but i'm not entirely sure but you know they're talking rabbits they have little civilizations and all things so it's rabbits and they talk and have thoughts and stuff so i was a bit like hmm i don't know about this one but it kind of was described as a mix of warship down and the hobbit and things like that and it definitely has those classic vibes to it i definitely think one day this could be a classic. I really enjoyed this, it completely surprised me. Basically it is the story of Podkin and his sister Paz and his little brother Pook, 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 is that his name? And they're so cute and this little adventure or these challenges that they have to face and it's been all been told by this bard, I think that's what they were called, it was the kind of storyteller rabbit who comes to this warren on Bramble Miss Eve. And it's super cute because it's like a story within a story type of thing and I loved the way that it was told I loved the little intermissions when it would be back out of the kind of story that was been told and them discussing the story I loved I just really really loved the story I just thought it was so sweet and cute and I cannot wait for the sequel it's gonna be a sequel I hope they'll make a bunch of these because it was just such a nice cozy read I think this is just a perfect winter read I mean you know I read it in summer and I still really enjoyed it but I think as a winter read this is just perfect and it's snowy as well in the book so I just feel like it would be really spot on so if you are looking for a wintry read when the time comes I recommend this one it's a very short little book and it's just the adventures are great the storyline is great the characters are fantastic and you just really grow to just like all the little rabbits and it's just a really good book it just completely surprised me I get four and a half stars I definitely would recommend it I think it's a great children's book I think it's also great for all ages Again, like I say, it has that classic feel to it, I think, hopefully, in years to come, this would be one of those books that is a classic, and I I feel like it has that in it, so I definitely would recommend this one. I'm so glad that I read it, because I know that had I not have been doing this, I wouldn't have picked this one up, it just would have been one that passed me by, and I'm so glad that it didn't, because it completely surprised me, and now I'm really eagerly awaiting the sequel. I will definitely be picking it up right when it comes out, and reading it and I hope there'll be just like say many more books to come in this series because I would absolutely read them all and I cannot wait for more Podkin. He was fantastic, the story was great, the side characters were great, really really recommend this one, really enjoyed it. Now the book for July is, what's the book for July called? Hold on, Dragon Rider The Griffin's Feather which is a sequel to Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk and I have not read this book this is the new cover to celebrate the sequel I think the cover is beautiful I love it I hadn't read Dragon Rider and Dragon Rider is let's see 422 pages now of course it's a children's book or middle grade you know whatever so it's not you know the words are pretty big it's not going to take too long however I didn't know if I would have a chance to read this and the sequel in this month so my July book I'm going to go with Dragon Rider and then hopefully by the end of the year I will also read its sequel so when I do my final wrap up of all the Waterstone Children's Book of the Month I will be able to talk about the sequel but for now I will be reading this one and talking about this one when I do my July review just because I wanted to make sure to read this one before the sequel but yeah the sequel came out this month and that is actually the Waterstone's Book of the Month and not this one but I'm gonna go ahead and read this one because I like to do things 
in order and it just looks beautiful and I feel like I've missed out not having read this story before and of course Cornelia Funk wrote Ink Heart which I also have not read actually so maybe it would encourage me to read those as well but yeah visually this just looks beautiful it's got dragons I'm really really looking forward to it I hope that I really enjoy this one so that was June's book and kind of July's book let me know in the comments below if you have read Podkin One Ear and if not I would definitely recommend it even if you don't think that animal books are your type of thing to be honest I like animal books I feel like I should read more animal books and dragons animals it's a nice animal theme here and let me know if you've read Dragon Rider because this one's been out for years so you know you might have read it and I'd love to know your thoughts on it so yeah until then I will see you next time thank you for watching this video and I'll see you then goodbye